In today's video, we are going to introduce ourselves to a system of linear equations. Now, specifically in this video, we are going to learn how to find the solution to a given linear equation. Now, any linear equation can be written in the form a1x1 plus a2x2 plus through to a n x n equals b where a1 a2 through to a n and b are called constants or better still the known values whereas x1 x2 through to x n are called the variables or the unknowns now let's look at some examples of linear equations so we can have an example of linear equation involving one variable and an example of such equation is 2x equals 5. Now in this equation we have one variable or better still one unknown which is x. We can as well have another example that is a linear equation involving two variables. An example will be the linear equation 4x plus 5y equals 10. Also in this equation, we have two unknowns or two variables which are x and y. We can as well have a linear equation involving three variables. We have an example to be the equation 2x plus 6y minus z equals 3. Also in this equation, we have three variables x, y, and z. So we can have a number of linear equations. This is just a few of them. So how do we find the solution to a given linear equation? involving two variables now let's try an example so given the linear equation 3x plus 5y equals 10 what do you think will be the solution to this linear equation now one thing we need to understand is that a single linear equation that contains at least two variables with non-zero coefficients has infinitely many solutions. Now let me repeat that again. A single linear equation that contains at least two variables with non-zero coefficients has infinitely many solutions. Now let's try to solve this linear equation. Now in this equation, we have two unknowns or two variables which are x and y. So the first thing we are going to do is to solve the equation for one of the variables or for one of the unknowns. Now let's solve the equation for x. So basically we are going to make x the subject. So we have 3x equals, we are going to transpose 5y to the right hand side. So 3x equals 10 minus 5y. Now since we want to find the value of x, what we are going to do is to divide both sides of the equation by 3 and then we have x equals 10 over 3 minus 5y over 3. Now what this primarily means is that if we should choose any value of y, we are going to get a corresponding x value. Now since we have a single linear equation, Nothing restricts us in the choice of value for y. This also means that for any y value we choose, we are going to get a corresponding x value. So let's assume that y is equal to 3. Let's choose any value for y. Let's say y is equal to 3. Now if y is equal to 3, then let's substitute the value of y into this equation. So if y is equal to 3, 
then we have x equals 10 over 3 minus 5 over 3 times 3 now let's simplify so this becomes 10 over 3 minus 3 cancels out 3 we are left with 5 over 1 now the LCM between 3 and 1 is 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 1 times 10 is 10 3 divided by 1 is 3 3 times 5 is 15 therefore we have x equals negative 5 over 3 so for the x y pair we have x equals negative 5 over 3 y equals 3 now the next thing we are going to do is to substitute the values of x and y into the original equation so we had x equals negative 5 over 3 y equals 3 let's substitute those values into the original equation so for the original equation we have 3 times x that is x is negative 5 over 3 plus 5 times y we have y to be 3 and that is equal to 10 now 3 cancels out 3 we are left with negative 5 plus 5 times 3 is 15 equals 10 negative 5 plus 15 is 10 and then 10 is equal to 10 now since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side it follows that the values of x and y satisfy the original equation and thus negative 5 over 3 3 is a solution of this linear equation now in the same way let's choose another value for y now let's assume that this time we have y equals 2 now if y is equal to 2 then let's substitute the value of y into this equation to find the value of x so we have x equals 10 over 3 minus 5 over 3 times 2 so this becomes 10 over 3 minus 5 times 2 is 10 over 3 10 over 3 minus 10 over 3 is equal to 0 so we have x equals 0 so if y is equal to 2 then this time we have x equals 0 so that the x y pair becomes 0 2 also let's substitute the values of x and y into the original equation so that's going to be 3 times 0 plus 5 times 2 equals 10 3 times 0 is 0 5 times 2 is 10 equals 10 and then we have 10 equals 10 also since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side it means that the values of x and y which are 0 and 2 respectively satisfy the original equation and thus 0 2 is a solution to this linear equation so in conclusion since for any y value we obtain a corresponding x value it follows that the linear equation 3x plus 5y equals 10 has infinitely many solutions Now let's consider an example of a linear equation this time containing three unknown variables so let's take this example now in this example we have a linear equation containing three variables that is 2xy plus z equals 7 
So how do we find the solution to this linear equation? So like we did in the previous example, let's solve this linear equation for one of the variables or better still for one of the unknowns. So let's solve the linear equation for z. So we have z equals 7 and then we transpose 2xy to the right hand side so that we have 7 minus 2xy. Now what this primarily means is that for any value of x and y, we are going to obtain a corresponding z value. Now since we have a single linear equation, nothing restricts us on the choice of value for x and y. So let's say that, let's assume that x is equal to half and then y is equal to 1. So let x equals 1 over 2 and then y equals 1. Now in this case, we are going to substitute the values of x and y into this equation to find the value of z. So z becomes 7 minus 2. In place of x, we have 1 over 2. In place of y, we have 1. So this becomes 7 minus, now 2 times 1 over 2 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, and then 7 minus 1 is 6. Therefore, we have z equals 6. So for the x, y, z pair, that becomes half 1, 6. Now at this point, we are going to substitute the values of x, y, and z into the original equation. So doing that, we have 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 plus 6 equals 7. 2 times half is 1, times 1 is still 1. And then 1 plus 6 is 7. Now since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, it follows that 1 over 2, 1, 6 is a solution to the linear equation 2xy plus z equals 7. Then again, this time we are going to assume different values for x and y. Now this time, let's assume that x is equal to 1 and then y is equal to negative 1 over 2. So let's take x equals 1 and then y equals negative 1 over 2. And let's try to find the value of z. So substituting these values into this equation, we have z equals 7 minus 2 times 1 times negative 1 over 2. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 1 over 2 is plus 1. 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. Therefore, we have z equals 8. So for the x, y, z pair, that becomes, we have x to be 1, y to be negative 1 over 2, and then z to be 8. Now let's substitute these values for x, y, and z respectively into the original equation. So that becomes 2 times, in place of x we have 1, in place of y we have 1 over 2, plus in place of z, we have 8 equals 7. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times negative half is negative 1. And then we have negative 1 plus 8. And that is equal to 7. Again, since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, it follows that 1, negative 1 over 2, 8 is also a solution to the linear equation 2xy plus z equals 7. Now in conclusion, 
you realize that for any x and y value we choose, we are going to obtain a corresponding z value, which means that this equation has infinitely many solutions. So the linear equation 2xy plus z equals 7 has got infinitely many solutions. So in the next section, we are going to solve systems of linear equations. But before we move on to that, we need to understand that a linear equation can have three possible solutions. One, a linear equation can have exactly one solution. Two, a linear equation can have infinitely many solutions. And then three, a linear equation can have no solution. Now let's look at some examples under these three possibilities. Now, if a linear equation has exactly one solution, an example can be if you have an equation x equals 2, y equals 6, a equals 3. These equations are examples of linear equations having exactly one solution. So there is only one solution for x, that is x is equal to 2 only one solution for y that is y equals 6 and only one solution for a which is a equals 3. Now to the second possibility that is a linear equation having infinitely many solutions. So an example is 10 equals 10. We can also have x equals x and then y equals y and for 10 equals 10 now this is true because for any value say 10 that you pick that is equal to 10 for any value of x that you pick it is also equal to x and then for any value of y that you pick that is equal to y and also for a situation where a linear equation has no solution that is an example is 2 equals 5 3 equals 9, 7 equals 10. Now for 2 equals 5, there is no way 2 can be equal to 5. Now since 2 can never be equal to 5, it means that this linear equation has no solution and the same applies to 3 equals 9 and then 7 equals 10. 